Hello, my name is Dustin Kohler. I've been volunteering with Ezra for well over five years now. And this year we are proud to announce as part of the 15th IREC event that we are going to finally do one of our goals that we've been trying to do, which is live stream the event. We've heard you loud and clear over the many years. We've heard ourselves loud and clear that we've always wanted to do this, but we haven't had the manpower or the equipment to do it. But this year things are changing. The video that we're going to segue to here in a minute is made by Blaine. He has a lot of industry experience doing professional events and live streaming events. And he is going to be describing to you exactly what we need. In addition to that, we have a lot of technical information that we'll be emailing out to the teams as far as what uh, frame weights and resolutions to use. We also have some updates to the video challenge award that we will be having this year. In order to make this live stream possible, we really need to ask all the students to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel for Ezra. That subscription number also helps us get sponsorships and bring in all the money that we need to run this event. And remember the famous saying that uh, no bucks, no buck rogers. So please get out there, subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe to Facebook, follow us on all of our social medias. And uh, with, that, with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and kick it off to Blaine. Hi everybody, my name is Blaine Seabolt, and for those of you that I haven't had a chance to meet yet, I am a 30 plus year producer for network sporting events. But most importantly, uh, I have been in rocketry since my grandfather bought me my first rocket at about five years old and been passionate about the sport ever since. Now, thanks to all the hard work from the great people at the Experimental Sounding Rocket Association, we're going to take the coverage of this year's Spaceport America Cup to an all-new level. We're going to approach this coverage just the same way we would approach any multi-day sporting event, say something like the Indy 500 that happens over several days. Now, with a production like that, we're working toward having hosted elements with the traditional play-by-play -play announcer and an expert color commentary host. We're also working toward using lots of great infographics, uh, be it weather, be it stats on the teams, the past uh, cups, things such as that. And in addition to all that, and this is where you teams have a great opportunity, we want to utilize a lot of roll-in packages produced by the teams. Those packages that highlight the school, the team, the project, and the passion behind why you guys are participating in Spaceport America Cup. So I'm going to outline what we're looking for from the teams and give your media team some tips on how to make your coverage stand out during our coverage of Spaceport America Cup. And there are four main segments that we're looking for from the teams. We're looking for the who, looking for the where, the what, and the why. The first storyline is the who. And just like you see at every football game you've ever watched, the introduction of the players on the team. This needs to be your top five people on your team. Now this doesn't have to be a green screen cutout. You could shoot this anywhere around campus with any background. Maybe the rocket shop would be awesome. But what we'd like them to do is look into the camera and each team member say their name, their year classification, senior, junior, graduate student, etc. Their team title, their title they carry on the team, and then give a very brief description of the role that they play on that team. Now I realize a lot of the teams may have a lot of members, but what we need to do is keep this to the top five, six, or seven leaders of the team. The purpose of this introduction is during the event, during the live stream, if a team is making their way to the pad, if a team is prepping, knowing that they're going to launch, just like you see in a football game, it's nice to roll that introduction so the people watching the team prepare can get to know the people that are leading the team. The next storyline profile would be the where, and this is about a five minute profile of your school. Tell us about your school. Give us the current demographics. Give us some history on the school. Talk about how the rocketry team formed from the school, how it's supported, what's the history of the rocketry team and its relation to the school itself. Now the next is the what, and this is the good one. This is your chance to show off your project. Talk about the project in depth. Talk about it from conception to the beginning stages, testing, maybe some of the challenges you've encountered along the way. Spend a good five or eight minutes going in depth and, and what the objectives are and what the project is supposed to do and what you hope to achieve at the cup with this particular project. And finally, the why. Now this is a little more open-ended. This is a chance for team members to express their feelings about why they're participating in this project, some of their goals, some of their aspirations uh, about 
participating in this and what it means to them. They also can relate some of their experiences along the way and what that has taught them. Most importantly, think of this as the question that answers, why are you doing this? Why is your school participating and why are you at Spaceport America Cup competing? Now for a couple of tips for your media team that will be producing these stories. Remember, we're producing this just like we would a broadcast sporting event. So now media rights management is crucial this year. Please make sure that you have all of the rights to use all of the media that you use in your production. You can't just take your favorite song off the radio and make an edit with that because unfortunately, if that happens, we then can't air it in our live stream production. And please don't use any movie clips or television clips, no matter how brief. I know that's used a lot in social media now, but we can't do that in our coverage. And also, if there's been a local news station that has come and done a feature on your team or any coverage of that kind, you can request in writing permission to utilize that coverage in your productions that you make. And even though you may get media from your school, make sure that from the school itself, you have written permission to utilize what's in your packages. Now we intend to keep expanding our production of the Spaceport America Cup, and we just can't risk utilizing any footage that we do not own the rights to as we move forward. And lastly, I know the teams probably already have a lot of different productions done, not just that fit these four categories. So we would love to entertain anything the team may already have uh, to see if it fits into our coverage and if it's something that we could utilize during the event. So please feel free to email me at livestream at esrarocket.org and send me a link so we can take a look at it. We can review it and see if this is something that we would love to be able to use or if we can use during our coverage and add it to the production portfolio of the videos that your team has. Now it's my job to make sure we produce the very best coverage of Spaceport America Cup this year, but it's also very important that we can put you, your team, and your school in the very best light possible as it will serve to inspire other students to enter into the world of rocketry that we love so much and perhaps get them to be participating in Spaceport America Cup next year. Again, thank you so much for your time. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns about the upcoming coverage of the Spaceport America Cup this year, and we'll see you at the Cup.